Hi everybody, Dana here again with more Tuesday tips for leaders of volunteers. And this week, the first week of November 2021, we will be celebrating International Volunteer Managers Day. And I have a whole separate video that I've done for Engage uh, that you can see and I'll post on my channel later on and you'll see on my social media. But for Tuesday tips right now, I wanna tie in this idea of International Volunteer Managers Day and the connections we have with each other as colleagues as a support network around the world with a very, very famous catchphrase that maybe you've never tied this together before, but think globally, act locally. Very, very famous catchphrase, businesses use it, but it, it really was originated in environmental and conservation and, and climate movements. So as a leader of volunteers, we've talked about this before, you probably have, probably, most likely, no matter what kind of organization or what kind of mission and work you're doing, you probably have the most headcount, the most personnel that you and your department are in charge of in your entire organization. Uh, and that's influence, that's power. So how you're uh, utilizing your workforce, the systems you have in place, the policies you have in place, all of that is part of the equation of not just the work that you're doing locally, but if you're doing your work really, really well and it's successful and it's getting great results, then by all means, communicate and share that model of success with your colleagues all over the world who are doing similar work. And also recognize that a lot of times, and I do this a lot in my consulting, I take models from different sectors and see, oh, this can work in community engagement, volunteer engagement, donor engagement, even if it's coming from a completely left field, different kind of sector, and they've been using it in their own specific way for a while. So we can actually make these connections no matter what type of work we're doing, no matter uh, how large or small or medium size your organization is. If you think about your circle of influence of your workforce, your volunteers, your entire team, paid staff, however you wanna, wanna consider that, and then the larger circle of influence is the community. So how are you positively impacting uh, and creating relationships and building networks within your community um, of the work you're doing and also of other agencies that you're partnered with? And then expand it out to that national or global scale of how can I continue to do my work and make it accessible and shareable for other groups that might be struggling with some of the issues that we've solved so that they can uh, take what we've learned and not have to reinvent the wheel. And so really just as a reminder that we are a global community and something that I'm doing in San Francisco, California might work in Brazil. It might work in New Zealand. It might work in uh, Kamchatka with a bear study on the Kamchatka Peninsula. There could be models and systems of things that we can share with each other and continue to learn from each other to have the most positive impact locally and then expand that circle of influence out. So happy International Volunteer Managers Day. I hope you've enjoyed these Tuesday tips. Let me know any other topics that you want to hear about or as you as an expert yourself, if you would like to submit a Tuesday tip to be featured on the channel, I absolutely welcome the wisdom in the room and other experts to join the conversation. So I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time.